Welcome back to True Geordie Extra, the home of all me fight content. Subscribe now if you haven't already. And Conor McGregor lost this fight last night against Dustin Poirier. Uh, yeah, I'm disappointed, but in the words of Nate Diaz, I suppose, I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. Um, it's time to accept reality for McGregor fans, and most importantly, for McGregor himself. It's time to accept reality because that really seems to be, have become an issue. I don't know if he knows the truth and he's just sort of denying it outwardly, you know, to save face and to pretend like the show is going to continue. But the McGregor show is over. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, we'll get a few encores now and, you know, I'm sure you'll do a few fights. But the Conor McGregor that you once knew and I once knew is is not here anymore. It, it's, it's a man who's changed. It's a man who's aged. It's a man whose life circumstances just are totally fucking different to a kid who grew up struggling in Dublin. And I know a lot of people might be thinking, oh, this is a bit harsh, it's a bit hasty. He, he broke his leg, you know, he could have easily come back in that fight. Look, if you know Conor McGregor and you know Dustin Poirier, you know who the fuck was winning that fight. It's just, it's time to accept it, man. I'm seeing loads of excuses again, and I'm bored of them. I was one of them, the people who made excuses for Conor, you know, with the Nate Diaz loss out with short notice, yada, yada, yada. And that turned out to be fair. You, you lose to Khabib, you lose to Dustin, you lose to Dustin again. Yeah, all right. The leg break was the end of the fight, and I can understand how someone could pin that on it. But Dustin Poirier's worst round is the first round. Conor McGregor's best round is the first round. Conor's an on-top fighter, and when he hits adversity, he tends to lose. I mean, wrap your brains here. Think of the people who've really put up a fight, and he's won. Chad Mendes. What, one week's notice on a training camp? Nate Diaz, in that second fight, yeah, he, he, he put up some resistance, but it won't, like, a huge level of offense. You know, when Khabib brought the offense, I thought Connor did okay, but he lost. When Dustin brought the offense in the last fight, same. Connor looked all right early on, but he lost. If I'm honest, I never thought Connor was winning this fight. I just hadn't heard enough accountability taken and honesty. And I don't really have a lot of faith that there's people around him who can help him with that anymore either and when he he says things about i only count knockouts and i'm 19 and one it's like well that's lovely for you mate but the rest of the world things you know you've been losing a lot lately and that might make you feel better but it ain't reality and when you don't talk in reality i find it hard to know you're addressing this and maybe that was just bravado to keep people on the hype train like you watch masvidal get knocked out masvidal ain't coming out with oh it was this oh it was that oh it was the other like he just took a loss like a man with mcgregor there's always a reason oh he wasn't focused you know against khabib oh i wasn't focused against dustin well that's your problem pal Take some bastard responsibility as a professional fighter and accept that it's your job to not be beating up old men in pubs and piss farting around and to spend the last five years of your prime after beating Eddie Alvarez maintaining your body, maintaining that dominance over the fight division and staying active. And you didn't do that. And you're the one who gave people like Dustin Poirier the time to catch you up and overtake you despite the insane talent Connor has. Even Mike Bisping commented on it, but you know, he said all of this nonsense about, oh, I wasn't focused on fighting i wasn't i wasn't focused on mma i was focusing on boxing before losing the last fight it's like mike was like i got a fucking title shot on two weeks notice against luke rockhold i wasn't making excuses saying oh i haven't been focused on fighting i know how to fight i've been doing this for fucking 20 fucking years at that point i don't need to be reminded the excuses can only wash for so long you know what i mean before you start realizing you're three and one at 155 pounds the fact is that since leaving featherweight conor mcgregor has not been the same guy he beat Eddie Alvarez, credit to him. He beat Donald Cerrone, credit to him. But I think we can all see after those fights, despite how great the performances looked, the level that those two fighters are on by comparison to Dustin Poirier, to Khabib, to any of the elite fighters in that division, like a Justin Gaethje. Connor started off aggressive in the fight. You know, he landed some leg kicks, which obviously Dustin kind of predicted. He said, I think he'll come with them because once you know how good they are, you try and use them yourself. And Dustin looks like he checks one at one point and kind of points it out as if he seemed to intimate after Afterwards, that I heard a crack. Whether he did or he didn't, it was good work from Connor, and he he was looking like a mixed martial artist again. The problem is, you can see. Dustin, because of the last fight, did not have the fear that he had going into the last fight. He was very respectful in the last fight. When Conor was throwing that left hand, he was letting him do it. He was allowing it. He wasn't really trading with him the same way he was circling out. This time, in the middle of Conor's attack, he disrupted it. And he catches Conor off guard and he nails him one right in the fucking chin. And Conor's backing up and Conor's caught flat-footed. He's flustered. And after all the talk about first one to wrestle and all of that, it's Conor who ends up having to clinch because Dustin 
Dustin's landing a combination on him. Look, I know this might sound like shit, but the minute Dustin got Connor down, I just felt like this fight was over. Like, the game plan is so obvious on how to beat Connor. And once you're halfway through the execution and you're a fighter like Dustin Poirier, who's already beat you in the last fight, is now in control. Connor goes for a submission, which is a real sign of desperation from a man who only counts knockouts and doesn't get it and then Dustin's raining down elbows on him brutal ones as well way worse than what Khabib did to Connor devastating ground and pound this was you could see it was having a fucking huge impact I knew this was not going to change because Connor doesn't he's not going to come from behind like that this isn't how he's built he's a front runner fighter uh, Dustin only grows into the fight and you could say the confidence that he had you could say he was like I've beaten you before I'm going to beat you again when Connor finally got up after an arse kick in that round one you could say it had changed him he was not light on his feet and all of that he was he was a little bit discombobulated his face was bruised and battered if you take round one like that from connor you you got this fight because he is not the type of fighter to turn it around like that it, i don't care how much you like connor i like him as well it, it's been a fucking great ride watching this guy it's, it, he's amazing some of the things he can do but come on it's time to face facts Dustin Poirier was winning that fight easily and it was going to be more devastating than the last one the fact that Dustin was outboxing him come on it just showed that all of the anger pre-fight all of the intimidation tactics had no impact on Dustin whatsoever because that mental image of him knocking Connor out cold it was comforting to him he clearly thought well i've beaten you before bro you you you're not going to get in my head anymore the fact that dustin had the balls to interrupt his attacks like that and just start throwing combos at him and landing hard on him and back dust he backed connor up in the first round even connor as a worse version of himself would never allow that to happen so connor gets up and obviously tries to stand on his foot breaks the leg a lot of people think that the leg was actually cracked earlier when Dustin checked the leg kick and then when he's discombobulated he's obviously not getting his balance properly he tries to plant his leg and that is where the snap happens but re regardless honestly if you know fighting and you've watched these two long enough you know where this fight was going to go it was going to be a Dustin TKO or a KO in the second round this is very similar to how I thought the fight would go and I, I got so much shit for going on that BT sport Sport show and predicting this and it's ironic because it's like oh everyone loads and loads of comments loads of hate honestly about what is he doing here what does he know he knows nothing and I'm, I'm you know if you watch the predictions back I think mine's the most accurate of the lot ironically because I obviously don't know as much as Dan Hardy or Darren Till for example but the point is is like on a personal note like fuck you to everyone who said I didn't have a fucking clue what I was talking about because I actually know Conor McGregor's fucking style I know what he's good at I know what he's bad at because part of being a fanboy is you take fucking interest I made a fucking documentary on this guy for Christ's sakes it is sad to see this come to a, uh, the end that it's coming to and I think the saddest thing was seeing Conor sat on the floor mouthing off at Dustin's wife, at Dustin, you know, this isn't over. Doctor stoppage, make sure it's a doctor stoppage. It's like, bro, you can write down whatever you want, man, but you go getting your head beat the fuck there. He was bouncing your head off the canvas. I, to use a Connor line, he really, those elbows were brutal. And leg break or no leg break, this was only going one way. We all like superheroes. We all, we all like to, you know, believe that athletes can can remain great forever and, and stuff like that but it's just bollocks do you know what i mean it's time to grow the fuck up like santa claus ain't real and conor mcgregor is very human and right now looks very beatable you know he kept coming out with these quotes on the run up to it you know i'm, I'm back on that building site dustin been on the building site bro for all the years that you were piss farting around flashing your rolexes on instagram you know being a fucking daft lad punching old men in pubs getting off your face at fucking partying up and you know not focusing dustin poirier remained focused and stayed on the building site and that's why he was able to overcome connor and i believe now nine times out of ten ten times out of ten Dustin Poirier is a better fighter than Conor McGregor and that's the thing that I think people just overlooked on the run-up to this because in your head you still see Conor McGregor the prime but this is this is Conor now a man who hasn't looked after himself who hasn't trained hard solidly for the last five years and has caked up and got plenty money doesn't need this anymore his ego wants it but it's the same ego that encouraged him to waste the last five years of his life blowing his prime
in my opinion, because as I think his physical prime is gone now. And as I said on the BT Sports Show, the sign of a fighter in decline is someone who's getting finished. I'm not talking about losses. Nate Diaz and the like, they can lose fights, but they gut it out. They, they, they get to the bitter end because they're still true fighters in their heart. They've still got that competitor in them. They don't want to quit under any circumstances. Whereas Connor, he will quit. And I'm not talking about last night because obviously the leg break was the out there. There's no way of getting around that. But I fully believe that Poirier would have beaten him into a way of quitting as a fight fan it's it's easy to want to hero worship people and to not accept the people are human and fighters especially will change and he has changed dramatically that's the thing is like a lot of fighters change but Conor, what conor mcgregor's been through in his life going from being on welfare to being worth hundreds of millions in a matter of what six years or whatever it was that's mind-blowing for anyone and on and on that level i think we can all forgive him for acting like an arsehole sometimes and you know maybe losing himself in the moment because i, I would have done as well I, i'm sure you would have there's got to come a time where you learn and conor kind of made out like he had learned that lesson on the run-up to the dustin two fight but the charity shaking hands but once he got beat and he refused to donate to dustin's charity and he put it on dustin as if oh you didn't send the details over and it's like that wasn't in the fucking deal bro you said on on twitter i'll donate end of story it wasn't like no terms and conditions on that and because he lost he clearly didn't want to donate for that reason and that's why when Stephen a smith pressed him on it in the interview on the run-up he was like well tell us what you're angry at dustin for he wouldn't go into it because he knows once you open that and people pick apart your argument you're talking shit and you're just a bad loser and as he sat there on the ground screaming at this man's wife saying all the things he said you know doing apparently doing gun signs like that to his head to dustin as he's on the floor it's just disappointing and i, I know i probably sound like a fucking sad parent right now but yeah i've looked up the connor for a lot of years for the reason that you want to you want to fight a who you can see some of yourself in that makes you connect with them and that a bit of his showmanship and you know arrogance to be fair and, and humor I liked it. It was funny. But that lack of humility to admit when you've been humbled, it ain't attractive, is it? And it, 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 got, it just was sad to watch someone who was clinging on when he's laying on the floor, been beaten handedly and can't just accept it, shake hands and be a man about it. And put it on the leg break as much as you want, bro. You can put it on not being focused. You can put it on being inefficient with my energy. But the bottom line is it's a fucking loss. And Conor McGregor, at £155, has lost three and won one. Do you know Dustin's record at that weight? I think it's like 110 lost one. This was going to happen. Dustin's the better fighter now. It's clear as day. Dustin's training camp is American top team, who, if you don't know, they're full of killers, like Maz Vidal and the like, you know, Colby Covington used to be a part of that. That team is elite, you know, and, and the coach in there is, is there for a group of fighters, and you it doesn't revolve just around you. Obviously, you can get prioritised before fights, but, you know, it's a different thing altogether than what Connor's got, where it's the Connor show, and I'm flying you all out to Portugal, I'm flying you and your families out to Dubai, and, and everyone's there on the take, basically, because it's the Connor show, and when you've got that kind of situation it's very hard to probably get someone who wants to stop the show that's paying them and have a very frank and honest conversation with you but i truly think that that's what this man needs right now but how many people are willing to say no i don't want your money i need you to probably question whether or not you should carry on doing this because reality is your brand is about being the best and with every fight you have and lose which happens more often than not lately you're ruining it and some fighters carry on too long. You know, Anderson Silva springs to mind, the greatness that he had, but then he lost so many fights towards the end there. Prince Nassim Hamed did it right, and I compared Connor and Nassim. He had one loss, and he retired at the top because he knew in his heart, I ain't obsessed with this anymore. I mean, to be fair to Connor, judging by the level of passion and anger he showed in the post-fight interview, maybe he still does want this. The problem is, is he's blowing his best years, and he hasn't maintained his growth as a fighter, and now the blueprint to beat him is out there, and the weapons he used to have aren't quite as sharp as they used to be. So Dave I said Connor can fight Dustin again once he's back from injury. Uh, I don't say why. Um, you know, Dustin's going to go and fight for the title now. You're going to have Connor McGregor with a bad record at 155 given a title shot 
against Dustin, who beat him the last two times they fought. All right, there was the leg break. Uh, but, you know, Dana knows. Dana knows what he's doing. So I think this is just squeezing the juice out of Connor. Is Connor even going to be the same Connor with a leg break recovery? Because that was a bad break. You know, and, and the, but bear in mind, before the break, the Connor we had wasn't good enough to beat Dustin then. How's he going to. Do you see what I'm going with this? I mean, and then if you if you have him fight someone else beforehand because he's got to come back from the ring rust again, what if that guy beats him? You know, we, we probably won't even get the Dustin rematch, in my opinion. I think it's just time for people to accept it. Like, Dustin Poirier is a fight as fighter, and this is a classic case of the old saying, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. I know this will probably trigger a lot of Conor McGregor fans, and I'm a big Conor McGregor fan, and it's harder to be a fan when he's acting like that on the floor. I've got to be honest. And if you are delusional enough to think that this leg break was stopping Connor from some sort of amazing comeback victory, you need to go back and watch his fucking fight because this ain't that wasn't going to happen and Dustin's a great finisher and he wasn't going to let it happen I hope you appreciate me honesty I've been get, given so much shit lately for what I said on BT Sport to everyone who said I didn't have a clue what I was talking about how oh, you like me now <laughs> um, I told you so I don't normally say that and I'm certainly not happy Connor lost but I got so much hate and like so much childish bullshit thrown at me so yeah I hope you appreciate the honesty uh, um, I enjoyed watching Connor fight it's been an absolute fucking pleasure it's a shame to see him go out like this, but it's more of a shame to see him go out with, with the way he was sat on the floor and verbally abusing Dustin's family and stuff like that. That's It's hard to support him when he does stuff like that. It really is. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.